Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Okay, I've been on this mission for years. It's been a primary conversation for this channel as I've been begging you to get more use out of your phone and showing where phones can contribute to more professional production. You can do more with your phone. Please don't forget to share these videos and reviews on your favorite social media services. Taking a trip through the time tunnel, I've been showing off phone mounts for video since 2012. Eight years. But recently, we've seen a number of manufacturers taking phones more seriously, and when a company like Rode Microphones makes a platform of accessories for mobile production, we definitely have to pay attention. Let's get my main complaint out of the way early. Kinda wish Rode had not called this a vlogger kit. The second line on the box calls this a filmmaker kit. And yeah, that's probably a bit more accurate. Vlogger is a double-edged sword here. That word applied to products often denotes a line of cheap accessories to help people talk to their phone or camera. At once, it makes the product more accessible, maybe a little less intimidating, but it might shoo away folks looking for higher quality mounts and pieces, especially kit that enables higher quality audio production. The Rode Vlogger Kit is not a cheap selfie stick for low effort video streams. From here on out, the rest of the review is overwhelmingly positive. There's a nice meaty handle which unfolds into a desktop tripod. Wonderful consideration for weight and sturdiness. Now, this honeycomb plastic is rugged, but this is a lot lighter than some of the other solutions I've tried. Included in the box is a solid ball joint so you can dial in exactly the angle you might need or flip from landscape to portrait mode very easily easily. And the phone mount is pretty trick. All metal construction and no cheap spring. So you slide the phone in there and you really clamp it down and lock it in place to make sure your phone is secured. Plus the mount has tripod threads on all four sides so you can always mount your phone in the orientation you need. And on top of the phone clamp we have a hot shoe mount. Accessories designed for proper cameras can be attached to the top of the Rode phone clamp, where Rode also includes their new dual mount bracket, which I showed off in my review of their wireless labs. Using that dual bracket is handy because the Rode kit comes with a cute little compact Rode video mic with a bouncy shock mount and a furry windsock. Opposite this microphone, you can better control your lighting thanks to this LED lamp, and the lamp kit includes filters, diffusers, and gels. A retail price of $150 seems expensive if we judge this on the utility of selfie sticks, but the total collection here contributes to every aspect of mobile production. A handle and stand to reduce camera shake, a directional microphone to improve audio, especially in windy conditions, and a directional light to improve improve exposure in challenging conditions. That's a ton of functionality and flexibility for 150 bucks, and it's a great base to build off of. Everything here is built on standard bits and connectors. The phone clamp? Yeah, that's the same thread you'll find on traditional tripods. The hot shoe mount fits other products that we've all kind of agreed on that shape. None of this is proprietary nonsense. It's not one iPhone case that you'll need to trade in or scrap a bunch of accessories when it's time to upgrade your phone. You can start here and grow as your needs evolve. This is the direction I think mobile production should go. I know there's a cool factor to motorized gimbals, but those solutions are a lot more difficult to use with other accessories like mics and lights. You still often need to figure out a way to put the gimbal down if you move from a handheld shot to a locked off shot, and it's another gadget you need to manage and charge. Smartphone video stabilization is getting really good, and when paired with just a simple, better grip, we can compromise a little extra movement in our frame for a ton more functionality and flexibility. There are three variations for the mini microphone, a USB-C version, lightning connector, and of course I opted for the 3.5 millimeter connector. Phones with headphone jacks are still the best for making stuff, IMO. Yeah, there we go. So while the microphones on your phone might be pretty good, 
it's basically impossible trying to get a windsock on your phone to protect against wind noise to any great degree. This little microphone is still going to deliver camera perspective audio. It's gonna be a solid solution for sort of arm's reach distances from your subject. It's not really gonna be directional enough to pick out one voice from a larger distance, but this is a huge improvement for other environmental concerns. As a brief aside, if you want to incorporate more flexible audio capture, cover a wider variety of distances between subject and camera, this is where some wireless labs really come in handy. And wouldn't you know it, the Rode Lav fits this setup really well. In one purchase, in one box, this is the best considered starter kit I've yet used. I've been showing off mounts for eight years years, and I've been trying to make solutions like this with my own parts. Covering CES a couple years back, I made this solution with my own pieces to cover almost exactly the same functionality. Almost like Rode has been watching my videos. Hmm. In putting together each individual part, I definitely would have arrived at a higher price than what Rode is selling here, and my solution was noticeably a bit heavier. Your phone is a ridiculously powerful computer and camera in one. There's every reason to push it harder and use it to create better video projects. And when you combine any camera with better audio and lighting accessories, it significantly improves your final output. Oh, we complain about phone video not being as good because we're pushing phone footage into increasingly challenging situations. Back when we could travel in person to trade shows, you would always see high-end mirrorless cameras paired with lights, and microphones. If we give smartphones those same accessories, the footage looks and sounds better. Who would have thunk it? Gotta give Rode a solid thumbs up here. This is a great starter pack, has plenty of room to grow, and those of you already a bit more experienced with mobile content production, don't be scared away by the vlogger name. Road knows how to do this right. I'll of course leave some links down below for more information on the Road Vlogger Kit where you can shop one of these bad boys online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos and subscribing to the channel. Supporting your favorite content creators has never been more critical than it is today, so I greatly appreciate those of you who do look in the descriptions below, maybe check out my merch. That kind of stuff really does keep production rolling on this channel. You can hit up somegadgetguy.com for a full list of all my partnerships and affiliates, or you might consider joining the list of names currently scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. These are basically the coolest people on the web, so, I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next review.